Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should always back up your data to prevent against data loss. You must be in single user mode to do this. QuickBooks recommends that you back up your files daily. That way, if the data in your company file becomes corrupted or lost, you can restore a copy of the file from a backup. After restoring the file, however, you will need to re-enter all of the transactions that you entered since you first created the backup file, but that is far less work than having to recreate the entire company file. To create a backup copy of the current company file in QuickBooks 2011, select File from the menu bar, and then choose the Create Backup command. If you're using QuickBooks 2007 through 2010, select File and then choose the Save Copy or Backup command from the menu bar. In the window that then appears, select the Backup Copy Option button, and then click the Next button to continue. Then, for all versions, select whether you wish to save the backup file locally or online. If you want to store the backup copy on removable media such as a CD, DVD, or network drive that is backed up routinely, then select the Local Backup Option button. You can select the Online Backup option to try the QuickBooks Online Backup feature if desired. This is an additional fee-based service that you'll have to pay for once any free trial offer expires. For the purpose of this example, we will demonstrate creating a local backup. So to do this, select the Local Backup option, and then click the Options button at the bottom of the screen to open the Backup Options window. This window allows you to specify the settings of your local backup copy. In the Local Backup Only section, enter the pathway or folder directory where you want to store the backup copy. If desired, you can click the Browse button to open a Browse for Folder dialog box. This will allow you to visually select the folder into which you want to save the backup copy. Once you've selected the folder where you want to save the copy, click the OK button to close the dialog box. Your selection will then appear in the folder text box within the backup options window. You can then check or uncheck either of the two options shown in the local backup only section of this window as desired. In the online and local backup section, you can set QuickBooks to remind you to create a backup after you close the company file a specified number of times if desired. You can also select the option button that shows what type of inspection to perform on the backup copy that you create. This ensures that your backup copy is free from data corruption as well. Once you've made your choices in this window, simply click the OK button to apply them and close the window. You can then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, you can schedule when you want the backup to occur. To create a backup immediately, select the Save It Now option. To save right now and also set future backup times, choose the second option. To only schedule future backups, choose the third option. For the purpose of this example, we will select the Save It Now choice. Once you've made your selection, click the Next button to continue. If you do this, QuickBooks will then open the Save Backup To dialog box. Here you can change the file name if desired. Otherwise, just click the Save button to save the backup copy. Now once QuickBooks has finished creating the backup copy, it will display a small message box informing you of its success. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.